Sunday morning, November 29, 2020. A KTV producer spoke on the phone with Sandra Nathan, who lives in New York State. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Isha from KTV. Oh, pleased to meet you. I really appreciate <laughs> your response. Um, well, I'm uh, 75 years old. Right now, I live in Steventown, New York, which is a very small town in the country. In some ways, it reminds me of uh, Chunchan. I have azaleas growing around my house, mm -hmm. and I remember the azaleas from Chunchan. The New York Times introduced a story about a gift she received from Korea on November 20th, 2020. What is the story about? In 1961, President John F. Kennedy established the Peace Corps, an international volunteer organization to assist other countries in their development efforts by providing skilled workers in various fields, including education, agriculture, technology, health and community development. September 14, 1966. South Korea and the U.S. signed the Agreement on the American Peace Corps. Sandra Nathan was one of the Peace Corps volunteers in Korea. People were very excited about the Peace Corps. I applied to work for the Peace Corps while I was still studying in college. Today, COVID-19 is spreading fast in New York. Korea sent a coronavirus survival kit just for her. You know, I, I, I do believe in science, but I have to say there was something magical about this box because as soon as I received it, I, I felt like I was going to cry. She was moved by the gift from Korea and shared the story with the New York Times. I was reading an article in the New York Times that said that uh, President-elect Biden was, uh, had a, a meeting scheduled with the president of South Korea. And in that article, there was a brief reference to how well the uh, Co Korean government has done in combating uh, COVID, how relative to the rest of the world, Korea has relatively few cases. And I, I thought, gee, I wonder if the New York Times would like to do, would be interested in doing an article about the generosity of the Korean government. And that's the idea that uh, I wrote to the New York Times about the generosity of the Korean government. Since 2008, the Korea Foundation has invited some 100 U.S. Peace Corps members who served in Korea to express gratitude. However, that annual tradition could not continue this year due to the pandemic. This is why they sent COVID-19 survival kits as gifts to 514 Peace Corps members in October. Sandra Nathan, 
그렇죠? 아, 정말 이 피스코어로 그 젊은 시절에 우리나라에 와서 봉사활동을 하신 분의 그 젊었을 때그 봉사의식이 어떻게 보면 이분은 그냥 그대로의 그 선함을 갖고 계신 분이 아닌가 싶습니다. 제가 읽은 그 어떠한 그 감동의 스토리보다도 너무, 다, 너무 구체적이고 그분의 기억이라든가 그분의 그런 기억을 통해서 우리의 과거의 모습이 또 그대로 드러나면서 우리가 이 걸어온 길이 얼마나 멀고 이 힘들었는지 그리고 우리의 이렇게 작은 제스처로 그분도 또한 이런 감동을 느낄 수 있게 했다는 게참 흐뭇합니다. Mrs. Sandra Nelson, this is Kyung Hwa Kang, Foreign Minister of the Republic of Korea. And I am recording this uh, for you uh, to express how, how deeply impressed and uh, touched I was to read about you and your uh, story in the New York Times. I think all of us in the Foreign Ministry felt very much the same. We're delighted that this small box, such a um, uh, deep impression and thanks on your side. You've touched us through your uh, voluntary activities in your younger days uh, here in Korea when we were, we were struggling uh, immediately after the war. And now, for us to be able to have traveled that long road and now with our small gesture to, to impress you, to touch you, I think is just a very unique story. So thank you so much for that. South Korea will never forget the help we've received in the past. The world struggles to fight the COVID-19 outbreak, which is why stories of people and countries showing they still care gives hope and strength. A resolution of the Korean War, uh, a peaceful resolution, uh, occur quickly. That, that would be my wish for the Korean people.